Hello Pisces, this is you versus them for the 7th through the 13th. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal, the website address is down below. <clears throat> Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you. All right, my Pisces friends, where are you? Who? You know, I feel like you're just trying to let something go because you just feel like your hands are tied. Um, something that, you know, you were trying to, something that you were trying to figure out before, but now it's like, I don't even really want to know anymore. I just want to be able to, to leave this feeling behind, to let this go, you know, because there's something that was, you feel like was hidden from you. Um, that, and I'm sure it's involving, you know, this, this individual, um, that you sought information on for a long time here, you were trying to see, but I feel like now you're just like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. Okay. I think you do though, because this is also hidden feelings. I think you do care. I do think that, um, my phone was ringing, I'm sorry. I think that you just feel like it's best for you to take your hands off of it. It's like, you know what, I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, let's see what the other person is. Feeling basically the same way that you are. The only thing is, you know, they're, they're want to find out the truth. They're want to actively find out the truth, but they're also confused here. They're want to cut through this confusion though, where you are just wanting to just leave it alone, let it die, let it be, um, you know, kind of remove yourself from it. They're wanting to actually address what is confusing them. Air energy heat here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? We also have Scorpio energy over here. Maybe a Scorpio you're dealing with as well. Some of you guys, let's see what you want. Hmm, wow. I feel like, I feel like this is all you, okay? But you see how both kings are kind of looking away? I think you're just wanting to not focus your energy, period, on this other individual. It's like, I'm not talking to you. I'm not coming towards you. I'm ignoring you. Okay? That's what you want. It's like, you want to just not be bothered. You're just tired of... The bull crap, you're tired of the secrets, you're tired of the unknown, you're tired of this person hiding things. It's like, you know, no more. If you want it that way, you can have it that way, but I'm removing myself from it. Okay, let's see what the other person wants. I feel like this person is wanting to reveal the truth here. I feel like they they dream about revealing the truth and you guys coming back together. I feel like they want to reveal their feelings. Look at this. This is how these cards are laying here. They know that they want to be with you. They know that you are somebody special to them. They feel like you guys belong together. They want clarity and they also want to give you clarity. Now, the thing is, now the Queen of Swords is a truth seeker. She also cuts out crap. Okay. Now, she's wanting, this person's wanting to cut through, you know, any confusion, any illusion that they may be feeling um inside by speaking on it 
okay and it is upsetting them that you are not speaking at this time okay yeah this this queen of swords is like hell bent on getting to the bottom of whatever is going on with you so i feel like there is some miscommunication here maybe some misunderstandings here between the two of you okay let's see what you guys need The Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You know, I, I'm just getting the, the feeling that you need to push through. Um, you need to push through these feelings of betrayal. You need to let this come to an end. Like, put this, put this to bed. Put this to rest. Address whatever issues that you need to address. Do not run away from it. Address it. Go towards it. Because that's where your success really lies. In addressing what is actually bothering you. Okay? I feel like addressing this is going to bring you some peace. Okay? If you guys need to have a conversation, if you can't even have a conversation, I don't know that. Only you know that. Okay. Maybe this individual has been trying to talk. Maybe you haven't been responding. Uh, because obviously, you know, I think there a conversation would be beneficial because there's there's obviously things that both of you want to know. Both of you want to like rectify here and so addressing these these issues um is is going to bring you success you're going to feel better you're going to feel more confident you're going to come out of this hangman mode where you feeling like you're stuck you know you don't have to be with this person but maybe those issues um, need to be addressed so both of you can move on let's see what do they need We have the Page of Wands and the Devil. I get that this person needs to face their fears. And in facing their fears, I feel like it is almost not bowing down, but it is making the first move. Um, to make things better I get the feeling that this person um, does not want to make the first move neither do you but <clears throat> I feel like it lies with them like the initiation maybe you've tried before Maybe you have reached out to this person. Maybe they were hurtful when they spoke to you. And that's why you have withdrawn. So now there's a need for them to, you know, leave behind that devil energy, just wanting to lash out and come with a calm approach. Hey, you know, let's have a conversation, you know. Because I feel like they overreact a lot here, especially with the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups. There, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of emotions all over the place, and that coupled with the Queen of Swords, who can already be very cutting, it's like that's a recipe for disaster, basically. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like they need to come with a calmer approach, not with a sword. Maybe just come towards you or make a phone call and, you know, just kind of clear the air. Let, let there be an open arena where you both can, you know, express yourselves. Okay. 
Is someone else involved? Let's see. Is someone else involved? No. I think you're just trying to move on. Um, I think you're tired of thinking about this. I think you are, you know, you're hurt over this situation and you're just trying to move forward is what I feel here. There could be a cancer person that is, um, that is looking at you or a Scorpio person that is looking at you. But I feel like this is mostly you just, you know, you're wanting to leave this energy behind. You've had enough of it. Okay. You love this person, but it's like you can't take certain things anymore. I feel. Is someone else in? Oh, okay. We got two cards. I just. All right. And we'll take those. We have the. Six of Swords with the Queen of Cups here. I think that this is you. I don't think there is anyone else other than you two. Okay. I feel like this person is wanting to move forward with you. They're wanting to approach and leave these Three of Swords behind. They're having a hard time letting go of things, though. The best, the best outcome for them is to be calm in their approach to you because they feel like you are walking away. They feel that energetically that you're walking away. They don't want to see that happen. Okay? They feel that. They're very... They're very possessive of you as well. Very possessive. And I feel like wherever you go, they'll follow. Um, and what I mean by that, maybe not physically, could, could be. But I feel like this person is someone that they will always have feelings for you. Even when you have moved on because they are very attached to you here very attached okay even if they don't tell you that even if they never come back um they have this this feeling about you that that they just know inside they're attached to you they feel like you are the one sometimes i feel like they just cannot control themselves is what i'm getting okay look at this under the bottom the ace of wands hmm yeah. They they want they want you. I just don't feel like they know how to really control themselves. Let's see is someone else no. Is this likely? Is this likely? Hmm. Pisces, I just feel like you, you are really just wanting to remove yourself from this. It's what I feel. I feel like it's been a long time coming with this Seven of Pentacles here. And I feel like, you know, you're just wanting to, you know, be in a better state. You want to involve yourself with, with people that um, you feel like, you know, care about you. There's something about this this relationship, this connection that has really exhausted you, I feel. And you are really just wanting to leave this energy behind. Um, I don't think that this person is ready to leave or ready to truly disconnect from you, though. Okay? And I think this is a struggle for you as well to walk away. I think you just... You know, you're just at your wit's end is what I'm getting. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pull a Romance Angels card and see. Close out this reading, guys. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Hmm. Maybe somebody's working really hard here. Um, there are no pinnacles other than... You know the seven of pentacles here 
and um, so you guys may have um, lost a job as well and that may be part of the reason why you are truly withdrawn on top of you know what you actually have going on with this individual over here so that is um that is that this person could also be working very very hard they could also work two jobs um, because you know the devil is excessive energy excessive um you know just things in your life vices that you use to like kind of distract you from what you really have going on so it could be that all right guys um let's see we have i don't know if i called out the signs but of course you're here aquarius is here um leo's here cancer scorpio any air sign um is here okay taurus energy is here as well all right guys so um that is what i have for you and i will be speaking with you guys soon bye now